Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. I uh, want to thank our good friend Nick Bryant for sharing with me some information tonight. Uh, first was the Israeli correspondent, uh, uh, Sahi uh, Davush, uh, Davush, and uh, his uh, uh, comment right here on Twitter there where he's talking about an attack that was launched tonight against uh, the Iranian and Syrian forces inside of uh, inside of Syria there. Now, of course, he's uh, saying here at the beginning of this, uh, let me just click the translate for you so you can see this as well, uh, that, the, the, that the military targets that were being targeted over there was as a result of the uh, improvised explosives that were put there along the border fence and of course it is being blamed upon the Syrians and Iranian fighters that actually did this to target the military Israeli military now the only reason I find this a bit suspicious is because as we had reported ourselves uh, back in on that was actually on October 17th and 18th on October the 17th uh, this video right here, Green Zone Attack in Baghdad, was this the false flag. Um, now, I actually, let's see, that is actually, I think, from our Patreon channel. Uh, is, yeah, well, no, actually, the video inside the video there, false flag event planned to keep Trump in office. This was from October the 17th. That's kind of interesting. I didn't catch that either. A month ago, 30 days ago, we had already reported that there was a false flag event in the making, in the plans there uh, from Middle East uh, uh, Intel, letting us know that this was being done. Uh, we go into detail in this, in, a, in this particular video right here that we did tonight. Uh, it's over on Israeli News Live. It's actually fully on Israeli News Live, so you can see this on our YouTube channel, Israeli News Live. Green Zone attacked in Baghdad. Was this that false flag? I don't think it's the actual false flag. I think there is a bigger false flag coming. But then tonight, when Nick sends me this information here uh, by Sahi uh, Dabush, and showing that the Israelis also are retaliating, and of course blaming this on Iran, and at the same time, we know that Trump had just, as I, as I brought out in this video tonight, I, I share in here with you, let's see, where is it at? Um, a little further in the video there, where, here we go, right here. This is where, on this article here, Trump just the day before was talking about bringing down troop numbers out of Afghanistan, out of the Middle East. They're trying to cut the troop numbers in half. If you ever follow Trump and every time he has ever reduced troop numbers in his four, year, uh, four years of administration, something always happens right afterwards. It's like he's trying to do good, but then the devil's there to cause the bad problems. That's the way it's made to be perceived by the public, so they can just eat it up, I guess. But in both cases, um, I think we are seeing the beginning of this false flag. Also, and also Nick had sent this to me as well, but I caught it right before he sent it to me. This was Israel Defense Forces. What Iran and Syria did, place improvised explosive devices by the Alpha Line to hit Israeli troops. Uh, and what we did, we struck Iranian coup forces in Syrian armed forces and targets. Actually, no, I'll take that back. Nick sent me a different one here. Let me see if I can follow the thread on this. Yeah, it says, uh, the attack damaged warehouses, command posts, and military complexes and batteries of surface-to-air missiles. So again, Israel was using this opportunity to be able to uh, hit harder on Syria, soften Syria up. I shared with you guys a little while back as well how that uh, intel out of our own um, Pentagon had told me that Israel considers uh, Damascus is the backbone of the Middle East. They break Damascus, then they will conquer the rest of the Arabic nations. So I keep those things in mind as I'm watching on what's going on here. So uh, we're already following, uh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so we'll continue on here. So this was the attack there that they showed going off. Uh, I know you won't hear the audio on this, but uh, this was in uh, the, the rockets coming in at the green zone, then the flares fly up showing that the U.S., uh, uh, their own defense system had engaged those rockets coming in. Seven and all were fired, and uh, very sad to say a little girl was killed in this. Um, 
was killed in this exchange here. Child killed after rockets fired on Iraq's heavily fortified green zone. Uh, CNN reported it as well as many other news agencies. Um, Tuesday killing at least one child, injuring five other civilians, according to the Iraqi military. According to Middle East reports here, they said here the Joint Operations Command announced on Wednesday that security and intelligence services have initiated procedures to diagnose the launches of the projectiles that fell inside the outside the green zone and, and led the martyrdom of a child and wounding five civilians, promising that what happened will not pass without an account. Now, I had reported tonight over on Israeli News Live already that if it ends up being a tit for tat, that might draw Iran out. But again, still, we shared with you guys uh, uh, when we had this intel, m the main intel that I had is on Patreon. Uh, I'll leave you a link to that video that I did on Patreon a month ago because I go into much greater detail about what was going to happen. I could not load that on Israeli News Live. Far too risky. Uh, but anyway, it says uh, at the end here, she added that what the capital of Baghdad wins today is Tuesday evening from the fall of a number of projectiles in, in the Celebration Square and surrounding areas near the city of uh, Medicine and Al Zawara, which led to the death of a child and the injury of five civilians. Diagnosis: the prep, prep, prep excuse me, perpetrators to get their fair reward. Hmm. Very interesting. Don't forget. I do believe that real false flag could be wrong. I have a feeling, and from what I've been told from other intel sources as well, it'll be against our naval forces in the Persian Gulf or thereabouts, the vicinity even could be off the coast of Yemen. But again, it'll be something to justify that attack on Iran. Once the attack on Iran is done, now that we see Israel is stepping up their campaign as well, they want to see, even if Biden were to still take power, they want to see that while Trump is in power, that Iran is dealt with. Um, I have talked to a couple of other folks this evening, and also they still confirm as well they believe Trump is going to stay in power, and that may very much facilitate what the New World Order pundits want, and that is to create an insurrection, a civil war in this nation, and ultimately uh, the Chinese will come in to mop up what's ever left so that they can get control of the portions of the United States that were given to them all the way back under Barack Obama's administration. So just think about that for, for just a moment tonight. Uh, listen, I hope your heart is, is right with, with Christ and that we're ready to go because things are going to get very rocky in the days ahead. So pray. Seek the Lord Jesus with all your heart. And I had planned on doing this video this evening on this teaching, but these things popped up here this evening when I was getting ready to. I want to get this information out to you, but I will definitely get this teaching out to you by tomorrow. God willing, pray for me that we can do that because I think it's very important information that you need to hear.